menopause is not a disease but rather a phase in a woman's life that she has to pass through i think women have to talk about menopause sex ovulation messes and don't be shy to express how they feel at this various stage good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture youtube channel my name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, we are going to be talking about menopause and pre-menopause. Yes, this lecture is very important, especially for women who are in their 40s or in their late 30s because this gives them an idea of what they are going to experience sooner or later because once you have this knowledge once you are educated about what to expect it doesn't come as a surprise to you it comes and you're like oh i, I know what is happening to me i i'm experiencing these symptoms this could be menopause this could be pre-menopause and definitely you're not going to get things because you are educated about the whole thing so the whole essence of this lecture is to get you educated and get you informed about menopause and pre-menopause but first of all, what is menopause? I'm going to try as much as possible to break it down so you understand. For me to say a woman is in her menopausal stage, it simply means that for the past 12 months, this woman has not seen her meses. Yes, even if the woman has not seen her meses for 3 months, 4 months, 5 months, 6 months, even 11 months, that does not confirm that she is in a menopause stage. But if she has not seen her meses for the past 12 months, that is to say that menopause is already at the doorstep and is already welcoming for her. So premenopausal phase is a phase that takes place before menopause. In premenopausal phase, the body is transitioning from that baby girl life to a menopause life. You get a lot of things are going to take place generally in your body as a lady. So during this premenopausal stage, there are some things you experience as a lady. And one of these is irregular period, irregular measures. If you are a woman that used to see your period every month, maybe every tenth, every um, tenth of the month, or you have a 28 day cycle, every 28 days, every 30 days, you see your measures. And all of a sudden, it becomes extended. You're not seeing your period every two months, every three months. So it's becoming like the period, the duration is getting longer. That might be a sign that menopause is knocking at the door and you are in your pre-menopause stage. During this pre-menopause stage, it has similar signs, symptoms with that of your menopause phase. But one thing I want you to take note is that before the menopause, you might get that pre-menopause. And there's going to be a lot of changes in regards to your period. If your period usually lasts for seven days, six days, it might change to another figure. If your period is usually heavy, but it's not lighter, or it's usually lighter, but it's not heavy, that might be a sign that you are close to your premenopausal phase or your menopause phase, especially when you are between the ages of 45 and 55. Basically, some women tend to go into menopause or premenopausal phase earlier than 45 years of age. Yes, but if they go earlier, it's nothing bad. If they go before, it's nothing bad. But all I want to know is, all I want to let you know is to get prepared for this stage you are embarking on. Then that takes us to the signs and symptoms related to menopause and premenopause. The first one I have to share with you is mood changes. Yes, mood changes, anxiety, mood swings, low self-esteem, problem with memories and concentration. That is an early sign, a sign of menopause. This minute you are happy, the next minute you are sad. So if you have a mother that used to have this mood swing, don't just jump into a conclusion that, oh, she's changing, she's not the way that could be a sign of menopause if you're having a parent that's having mood swing this is that could be a sign of menopause and i encourage you not to be hard on them then the second sign i want to share with you is hot flashes yes hot flashes when you have a sudden feeling of hot 
or cold in the face, neck and chest, which can even make you feel dizzy as a woman. Yes, so if you're having that hot flashes, night sweat, this means you're hot, another minute you're cold, that might be a sign that menopause is knocking at the door and you should get ready for it. Then another sign is difficulty sleeping. I think this is one of the signs my mom experienced. She started having difficulty sleeping at night, she started having night sweats. Most difficulty sleeping as a result of the night sweat. So during this period, it's advisable you get an air condition or you get a fan that can help you keep your room um, well ventilated and also cold rather than hot. Am I making any sense? Yeah. So the other one is palpitations. There's increased heart rate. There's increased breathing. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, I just feel like my heart is beating very, very fast. Am I okay? My, my breath is increasing. Am I okay? You become tensed that might be a sign of menopause that you should take note of and another sign is headache migraine that's unusual normally you can have little headaches slight headache and it bounces back to normal but now you are having headache you're having migraine that like you know it ought not to be so it ought not to be there but now it is there though you have to see the doctor when something like that pops up but that might also be a sign of menopause or premenopause that you should take notes of then women start experiencing muscle aches and joint pain they start experiencing change in body shape some women start gaining weight ah does it mean i'm gonna gain weight when i get to my menopause ah oh, should i get ready for that anyway i'm not close to my menopause my menopause is still far away from me then another is skin changes including dry and itchy skin reduced sex drive yes there is no way i'll talk about menopause without talking about reduced sex drive let me tell you something what takes place is that there's a home there's a hormone called estrogen that is present as i'm here now my estrogen level is very high because i'm still young i'm still vibrant but as you grow older be it a man or a woman definitely these hormones this estrogen is going to decrease in the amount it's going to go down and when there's a decreased estrogen that is definitely going to affect your sex drive as a lady as a woman you're going to be experiencing some vaginal dryness you're going to be experiencing pain during sex inching and discomfort you might be experiencing recurrent um, uti urinary tract infection yes so these are the signs of menopause that you should take note of so if you are experiencing this just know that it's either premenopause or menopause is knocking at the door or it's already inside the room it's no longer outside the doorsteps so what i advise for women in their menopausal premenopausal and postmenopausal phase if they are experiencing low sex drive they are experiencing vaginal dryness pain during sex lubricant might not be a bad option lubricant might go a long way to help especially when everywhere is dry so it's a research that has been done like when you use lubricant in a way it helps to kind of increase the sex drive rather than just being numb so a lubricant might go a long way to help the women during this phase so i'm going to be explaining more i'm going to be making another video where i'm going to be talking about um ways to enhance your sexual life after the age 50 Yes, how to enhance your sexual life after age 50 and what you should take note of. So this is what I have to share with you today. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.